Monday, August 14th. And we're on our last riding day. We have been in a little campground here in Tetbury. Had a great night and went to a little pub last night for dinner. It was great. Actually, a restaurant, Casa Restaurant in Tetbury. Really cute town. If you get a chance to come to Tetbury, you should because it's really cute. At any rate, we have 38 kilometers today. Um, it's got a little bit of single track in it, just a very little bitty bit. It should be a little muddy because it rained all night. Anyway, it's our last riding day. It's a little sad. So, thanks for joining. Ready for our last day, Susie? Um, yes. I wish I, could, I don't know if you could see how gloomy it is over there, but it's pretty gloomy over that hill. Mm. Here we go. Far back, I think. All right, it's probably 59 or 60 degrees, misting. Audi, wet, we got 38 kilometers to go. Bye, bye, bye. I can hear you just fine. I can't, just can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> That's what my grandmother used to say. We're in a little town called Broken something, Susie says. I can't see it. But maybe I can. Broken bow. It's gorgeous. So we're looking for a breakfast in Mumsbury. That's what I'm assuming they call it. Always up a little hill. For what? That's okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Get the blood of pumping, Susie. <clears throat> Pretty wet morning. Maybe we can soak it all up and take it back to Texas. Isn't that a pretty entryway? You gonna take your jacket off? You've done great, honey. Routing everything, planning everything. You're just saying that. No, I'm serious. <laughs> We've seen so much fun stuff and beautiful countryside and big cities and little towns and it's been just perfect. Yeah. And so, say what you were saying a minute ago about the money stuff. When we did our first Europe trip from Vienna to Prague, it was seven days and we spent about $8,000. That's, was that flights included? Yes. Okay. So that's hotels, bikes, 
flights, meals, everything. Tours. Yeah. So for seven days, we spent $8,000 wow. or one week. This trip has been 16 weeks and about 20,000 plus. We've learned that the toot toot means thank you and not get out of my way, you bonehead. So Susie was saying that, so for 16 weeks, it's gonna come out to probably $20,000. And in my mind, I, with our bicycles and upgrades and supplies and even our plane tickets that we got two years ago during the COVID time, um, I think that's probably another five, so. Anyway, doing it this way is a lot cheaper than the way we did it the first time. First time gave us experience, and this time gave us, well, I don't know, a lot of other stuff. Nope. Huh? No, I just thought I'd come down here and go to the bathroom. I knew you liked gravel, and I didn't want to skip a place. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but I just wanted to show that long straight road. I'm zoomed way out. You see the terrain. We have the climbs up right up ahead. A little balloon, looks like an air balloon is us. Red parts of the climbs. Anyway. Now on the Fosse Way, when you zoom in on it, um, on some maps, it has Roman Road as the, as the name of this road. So, that would be interesting. This is just so straight. It seems like it's either got to have been a Roman Road or a rail trail or a, you know, a railroad or something in the past. So, anyway, it's very nice so far. It's black in there, but it's certainly black out here. Wow. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, there's a deer. Star. How's that for timing? <laughs> So we're still on what looks like a Roman road, but this explains a lot. Look at the limestone rock up there that they used to make the walls around their fields. I'm, I guess that still is a climb. That couldn't have been a train track, I don't think. A portion of it was 17% grade. The train couldn't do that. Uh, Susie says, who cares about a stupid old 17% grade? She just killed it. Good job. 17%. No way. Yeah, that's what it says. Yay. Good job. So, I'm not certain but according to the GPS, this might have been the last climb of our trip. I can't tell, I'm wiggling around too much. 
Good job, honey. We're almost at the end of the entire climb of the trip. <clears throat> this is the last climb per the GPS. You don't need to talk, just keep breathing. You're amazing. How about we've gone like 40,000 feet of climb during this trip? 50, I don't know, I'll look it up tonight, we can brag. Yay! You did great. <laughs> wow, and you didn't walk that, that's awesome. <laughs> That's why you can't just fly down this hill. You have to always have a little bit of control. Unfortunately. So it's to find if you're asking why I wasn't going 50 miles an hour down this, that's why. Thanks, bud. So I think we're on the outskirts of Bath. Maybe? Okay, I'm going to pull over up here. Toll point? Hey, this thing says toll road. Pieces of eight. Dead men tell no tales and such. I know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll ask this here lady. Stick close to me, please. Okay. I think I can. How much do we have to pay? Oh, I love it when you say that. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> Here's why it's a big waterfall. The river.
Bing bing. Anyway, have a lovely time. Thank you. Sorry about that. That's fine. Hello. Yep, I'm taking it right now. Bing bing. My dog ate my bell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, afternoon. Keep changing. Feels like morning. This is cold and such. How's this for a lunch spot? Hi, sweetie. What if I put it in the hotel instead of the campground? What? What if I put it in the hotel instead of the campground? I think I did. We're because we're this. It says we're almost there. I'm S Susie. I think we're supposed to be at Bath Hampton. Hi, this is us in Bath. And then I realized that I put the wrong endpoint. I put tomorrow night's endpoint into the route instead of instead of tonight's endpoints. We have to go five miles, five kilometers back. It's only three miles. It's okay, honey. Routing is hard. Nicely done. <laughs> 